Okay, in this video, I want to create a new database and show it from a Python program. So we're here in the workbench right now. We can create our uh, a new database here if we wanted to. And we'll look at doing that maybe a little bit later, but we want to do this in Python. This is a course in how to do all this stuff in Python. So the one thing I do want to show you before we go is see my mouse. It's sort of floating around here. That's a mouse cursor, right? And when I want to do things in here, I do them with my cursor. If I want to refresh this, I take my cursor and I refresh that, right? I click this little thing. If I want to, you know, apply something, I take my cursor and I apply. So we sort of do the same thing in Python, but we, instead of like obviously dragging a cursor around, we're not going to do that. We're actually writing Python code, but we're still going to create sort of a, an instance of a, of a cursor. It's called a cursor. And that cursor can sort of execute commands in our SQL database, in our case, MySQL database, right? So let's take a look at how to do this. So we don't need to print this anymore. We're going to keep all of these things always right here at the top of our program because we always need these whenever we want to do MySQL stuff uh, from a uh, Python program. So what we can do here is let's create an instance of a cursor. And I'm just going to call this my underscore cursor. Okay. You can call it anything you want, but it's a cursor, so I'm going to call it my cursor. Now we need to create an instance of this in our um, my DB connection, right? So we just go my DB dot cursor, and then put the little things there because this is kind of like a a function we can pass things in through there, right? So okay, we've created this thing. Now what do we want to do? Well, let's create our own database. We've got the database running, but we, we don't have our own database that we've created yet. You know, we, we did this, uh, let me pull this up here. We looked at this world database, right? Well, that's fine, but we want to create our own database. So uh, how do we do that? Well, we can just go use our cursor. We're going to use the cursor for most everything from now on. So just sort of get used to this cursor thing, right? So we always start out with naming it my cursor. And then we want to execute a command. So we type in execute and then pass in some parameters. So what do we want to do in this specific case? We want to create a database, just a database, not a table yet. We'll do that a little, a little bit later. We just want to create the database. So we pass in some quotation marks and we just type in create database. And then we need to name our database. And let's just call this test db right and that's it so notice these are capital letters these are these are sql commands right so we're passing a sql command into my sql and the sql command in this case is create database oh misspelled database there we go i knew that should be a different color <laughs> so we're creating a database we're calling it test db now we can just run this and it should work. So let's pull up our, our git bash and we can just run python database.py and nothing happens on the screen, right? Because we didn't actually tell it to show anything, but we can pull up our um, MySQL workbench here and come over here to schemas and then click this little refresh button. And then boom, you see we have this test DB. Now there's nothing really in it. If we click tables, there's no tables. There's no anything, but we created the database and it's in MySQL and ready to start working. So very, very cool and uh, pretty simple. Just one little, well, two little lines really, but this doesn't count because we're just always going to do this to sort of initialize our cursor. One little command to, to execute it. So very cool. Now, before we move on, let's, we just looked at MySQL workbench to see if the database existed or not. How do we do that from a Python program if that's what we want? Very simple. We just go my underscore cursor dot execute. Execute a lot of commands there. And inside of here, we want to pass more SQL commands. And so we want to show databases. All right. And then this is going to show a list of databases because if we pull back up our workbench, we see we have one, two, three, four, right? We can just run this command. Um, let's see, pulls back up. 
we could go something like print um, my cursor, right? But it's going to show an object like we did earlier. If we could save this here, uh, let's come up here and we don't we don't need to run this create database command again because we've already created it. So let's just save this real quick and come up here and run it. And you can see MySQL cursor show databases. It shows us that command. It doesn't show us what we actually want to see. So that doesn't work that great. Instead, we can create a for loop that allows us to loop, loop through all of the databases that are there and print them onto the screen. So let's do that real quick instead. So we just go uh, for create a variable databases in my cursor. And then we just print that DB, right? Let's save this, head over here and run it. And boom, we get a list, a nice little sort of tuple list of each of these uh, databases in our MySQL database. So we have information schema, we have a MySQL performance schema, we have the Sekilla, Sys, TestDB, and World. And if we open this up, here we have the same Sekilla, Sys, TestDB, and World. Those other two are hidden ones that are just sort of uh, system databases that we don't really care about. So very cool and uh, pretty simple. So you see when we printed this out, it printed it out as a sort of um, a, a big tuple. And that's what this is. It's a tuple. So if we want to, you know, be a little nicer about this, we could do something like um, call the zeroth item of the tuple, something like that. That might work. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, so and then it looks a little bit nicer. And then you can run some formatting, and we'll talk about that later on as we create reports and stuff in Python, uh, how to format. We'll show you how to do that, and that'll be cool. So I think that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll create our own table and then start to put data into the table, and that'll be cool. And that's coming up in the next video.